All right, this video is about creative verse, is about uh, how to play with others or not to play with others and whether or not you need port forwarding in your router in order to play with others or not. The first thing you have to do is understand where you want to get and how to get there. So let's fire up the game and see one thing. So this is the game, you can click on play. Actually, let's go straight over to the help pages. As you can see, it has opened the, the help pages on the Creativers game website. And here uh, you can see the link to the official guide, which leads you to this Google document. And here there is the table of contents. And one of the sections is about the networking. So have a look at this. This is the basic setup that you, you would end up with this setup if you just launch the game and launch a word. So you have the server launched by the client, which is running on your PC, which is connected to the internet via your router. And so there, there is a, then there is the internet and other computers. Now, if you want to only play on your own, you don't need anything. You don't need uh, to touch your router. You don't need to add any port forwarding. You don't need anything at all. You can just launch the game and play. As you can see from here, you can go to play. If you don't have a word, you can create a new one, but I created one and so I can just launch and go to play. And the word is starting. You could see from the bottom right corner. So the word is now running and I can play. If I want anyone else to join, what matters is where that other player is. It could be uh, on another computer behind your LAN. And so in that case, even without going outside of the, of the game, you can open the Steam client, go to view, go to servers. And as you can see here in the LAN, I can see my word. This means that another player playing Creativeverse on another computer behind the same LAN would be able to join just via the LAN tab. So this means that another computer behind the router would be able to connect without any action at all. Now, the problem is, what if you want a friend of yours to play from outside of your router? So they have to connect via the, their PC to the internet, maybe their router, but doesn't matter. What matter is that they are outside of your router and they will not be able to find your world in the list here. These are all the servers which are running right now, creativeverse which are available online and my world is not there. Let's see, sort by name test, there is no test word in here. So how do you go about letting your word be visible in this list and so also in the other list from the game? Because if I live here and I go to play and I go to online and I go to public, should load all the words and my word is not here. Let's triple check, test. Okay, it's not here. So how do you do that? You could follow the instructions of the guide. Let me bring up the guide again. And here you can see, for instance, this link port forwarding and it explains all of what you have to do. But we will we'll go through all of those steps one by one here so that you can see how I do that on my computer. I've cleaned up my router. I don't have any uh, port forwarding. I don't have anything set up on my router. I can show you here. For instance, this is my computer right now. And uh, 
this one is my local IP. I will show you how to find that information as well. You can see here are the static leases, which is the same as uh, the static reservation of the internal IP address. I only have one, but this is for my extender. This is not for my computer. As you could see from here, this is my IP and we can verify that by opening the command prompt and typing ipconfig and as you can see my IP address is this one which ends in 1142 which is the same which appears here so I have no static lease I have no port forwarding at all so as it's normal for, it, for this to be no one can see my word from outside of my network. So how do we add this information to the router? We know that we need, first of all, to make sure that our computer, or my computer in this case, always gets the same address. So I know that I want the 142. I know that my uh, MAC address is that the 8 6f the 86f it's not here so i can just click on custom and copy this string from here let's copy this properly copy and paste and this is fractal the name of my computer add new static list let's see Did it work? Oh, I had to press the, the other button. Okay, please perform a reboot to apply the changes. This means that this action in particular will not take effect until I reboot the router. But in this case, I don't care because I know that my computer is already getting the 142 as local IP address. So right now, this is not important it is not important to reboot the router, but I need another thing. I need to add some port forwarding. So I can click here, show advanced, add new IPv4 mapping. So here I can select the fractal, which is my computer and change the protocol to be both and change the one port and the LAN port and here, since I know the default port of a word when I create it, I know that the port is this one here. Okay, and as you can see, this is the base connection port used for multiplayer. The, the actual ports that will be used by the game will be this one, then the next one plus one, and then the next one plus two. So if I select here 26900, I will also need the 26901 and 26902. So let's go back to the router settings. So I can type in 26900 and uh, to, put, to use port ranges, use the colon. For example, in this case on my router, I have to use the colon. On other, on other routers, you may need a hyphen or a comma or whatever. In this case, I know I need a colon. So 26900, which is the base port that I have uh, in the world by default, and 26902. I can copy everything and paste it here and click on plus. No, I have to give it this a name. CV, creative verse. Let's see. Did it work? Seems it did. So now, I know that my computer is running on uh, the IP 142. I have added the port forwarding. I did not receive any notification about uh, restarting the router, so I may not need it. this right now and we can just check what happens. So from the game, 
will launch the world again. So hit on play. The world is launching. And let me see. The world is now running. I can go to the servers list and refresh all. Let's see if it shows up. Test word. Yes, there it is. This is my IP address. This is my word and it's working. I didn't even need to reboot the router. Now, in your case, you may have to go to different interfaces, to different pages. Your, uh, uh, your router might have use different words for the static lease, static reservation or port forwarding, whatever. But you should be able to Google for your uh, router brand and the router model and find any instructions about that. You could also just go to the guide and if you uh, become stuck, you can just go to contact support, support help. You can uh, contact us via support at playfulstudios.com or you can contact me on Discord. I'm always available. We can also do a voice chat on Discord with screen sharing and I can try and guide you through the steps on your router, how to find your router uh, interface and how to set it up. But I will not be able to sort everything because you may have programs interfering with the, with the game. You may have uh, programs interfering with the ports that the game uses. Your internet service provider may be blocking some parts, but there could be a workaround in that case. You may be able to use a different part uh, or what else? Oh, your router may not allow you to, to add the, the port forwarding. Some routers don't have that uh, thing, which is not normal because nowadays every router should allow you that, that option. Some routers may have a broken interface. I've provided support to some players which had problems interacting even just with the router interface because it was just misbehaving. So from the guide, you can see all the instructions, the best that I could put there because I cannot provide the exact instructions for every single router. Every router is different. They may have different versions. They may work differently. So in any case, you need help. You launch the game. You click on edit world and then click on the help button here. You can access it from the manage players help button here. All of these will uh, bring up the guide. You can also do that from the where is live world. Here it is. You can also access that via this button, which as you have seen, leads you here. In turn, you can click here and see all the instructions. So I guess that's it. Have fun. If you need help, get in touch. Bye.